Interphase Video presents Fairfield Today. Brought to you by Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan, Fairfield Medical Center, Fairhope Hospice and Palliative Care, the Fairfield County Board of Developmental Disabilities, the Frankie Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield County Visitors and Convention Bureau, and Lancaster Fairfield Community Action Recycling and Litter Prevention. Hi, welcome to Fairfield Today. I'm Susan Nixon Stoughton, and today I have the privilege of being at the Fairfield Medical Center. My first guest today is Kathleen Meyer. She is the Assistant Dietary Manager here at the Medical Center, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about some exciting programs that they have going on at the, at the Medical Center. But before we get into all of that, first I would like to say welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. being with I'm us today. I'm very happy to be here. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about how long you've been with the Medical Center. I have been here 14 and a half years. Wonderful. Yes. It's been a great place and I love it here and can't believe it's been that long. Over the years, um, at, between filling in with Stan and different things that have gone on, I've had the honor of talking to several people. And the one thing I can tell you I have learned is that Fairfield Medical Center has longevity where employees are concerned. Absolutely. So this is very exciting. Absolutely. Well, we're going to go ahead and start our walk down towards the cafeteria. Okay. But talk to me a little bit about the new program that you have going on. Well, we have a couple of new things going on in our cafeteria. The one is our Fairfield Fit and Fresh program, where we have taken, we've partnered with Lean Cuisine, Nestle and Lean Cuisine, mm -hmm. and we have taken a Lean Cuisine entree and paired it with some type of a complex carbohydrate, such as multigrain rice or barley or whole potatoes, and maybe some type of a fresh vegetable, and we serve them together as one complete meal. Wonderful. So talk to me a little bit about then uh, the importance and why Fairfield Medical Center has decided that um, the Fit and Fresh program is the way to go. Well, we recognize that obesity is an epidemic and unfortunately Fairfield Medical Center and its staff is not immune to the epidemic and we do realize that and we have the data to back it up that um, a good portion of our employees you know are obese and so we want to do anything that we can to help our employees become healthy and to become fit and we thought this was one way we could help and how long has this program been going on we kicked it off about a month ago so we are about one month into it and we're pretty happy with the results and the feedback we've received I was wondering because it seems the first, first of the year everybody seems to want to get on the health kick yes. and so it seems like timing wise it was perfect it was a great Time. Well, yes. talk to me a little bit about what maybe one of the more popular dishes have been. I would say um, our stuffed peppers with a multigrain rice has been very popular. Nice. Yesterday we had a really nice um, ham and egg white strata made with um, multigrain bread and spinach. That's also been really popular. Um, some of our salads with, we also have like a quesadilla, um, chicken quesadilla, that's been popular as well. Um, we try to mix in like black beans and all kinds of different types of rice just to offer something different. And we're going to be doing some things with fish as well. Oh, wonderful. So we are nearing the cafeteria. We've had yes. lots of people who obviously don't want to be on camera. I see them jumping around yes, corners. They're, they're kind of hiding. <laughs> Now, when we go through, are we actually going to be back on the back side of uh, where you have folks working? Guide us through what we're going to be seeing. Um, actually, we're going to just go right into our cafeteria, which is where we, our main serving area, where we work with our employees and our visitors and our volunteers and our physicians. And this is Hi, Dr. Where, Silsky. where we serve our <laughs> patients. Wonderful. And basically, what are your hours and the meals, and, and when do things get started, or is the cafeteria open all the time? Well, we actually have um, some signs oh, to kind of help guide us along. So our cafeteria does start serving breakfast at 6.30 a.m., so we, we do capture a lot of our nurses and um, other staff members who are here um, either coming off the night shift or starting an early shift. And breakfast goes until 9.30, where we actually have a hot line um, to serve items. We okay. also have other things available throughout the day. Lunch officially starts at 1030 and ends about 130 again where the steam table items are available. But we always have things available throughout the day. And then finally dinner goes from 430 to 630 p.m. Wonderful. And since we no longer have a night shift cafe operation, mm -hmm. we have partnered with our vending company, ABI, okay. um, and we do have a lot of hot sandwiches and soups and other options 
to help reach some of those night shift staff who maybe didn't pack lunch but would like it access or those perhaps that are coming in with patients that don't want to leave absolutely the facility and I also want to mention too with our vending company um, they are really good about joining us and helping to promote as much um, as many healthy items as possible and we have a new program now that recently started about two weeks ago with a vending company where now 40% of the items in our vending machines are considered healthier snacks. Wonderful. So we're excited about that too. Well, talk to us a little bit about the, the Nestle tie-in, um, Nestle slash Lean Cuisine. Let's talk okay. a little bit about that and what drove you to their program. Okay. Uh, we belong to Amerinet is our group purchasing organization. So we work together with about four or five other hospitals to negotiate contracts. So with our food service, um, Gordon Food Service is our main food mm -hmm. service supplier. And they will periodically bring vendors and brokers to us who present various um, options that they have. And the Nestle dietitian and the Nestle chef came to us and they presented this program. And it just seemed like a really good fit for our facility because we do purchase Link Cuisine items. Our staff do like the Link Cuisine items. And it was just, it just fit with our goal of trying to provide more fit, healthy, options for our staff that's and that, that's the feedback we get from our staff is they want more healthy items they want choices they want to know which ones are the healthier choices so they need us to help kind of label them and Guide send them in the right direction sure but we we also like with lean cuisine we're not locked into just exclusively lean cuisine we've also gone on their website you know per their direction and come up with some additional recipes that we've kind of created on our own with our chef Jamie Brumbaugh so we've, we've gotten together. All the meals are reviewed by a dietitian. They're all um, 400 calories or less, and they're lower in fat. And many of them are higher in fiber. So I'd like to just kind of show you. And I'm noticing here veggie burgers are available upon yeah. request. We so do. We have veggie burgers available great. every day. And Wonderful. we have different versions, black bean, regular, garden. Wonderful. We even have a rib one. It's, it's a riblet, a barbecued riblet, but it's a veggie burger and it's delicious. Great. So each day, um, we don't have our food out right now because we're not ready for lunch yet. Um, we do post the fit and fresh menu of the day and we have the nutrition information posted so our staff knows what they're getting and how many calories in the serving, how much fat, how much fiber. And this is for the ham and cheese strata with Correct. roasted red skin fries. Yes. Wonderful. Exactly. Wonderful. And I also want to point out something new. Um, we have partnered with our wellness dietitian. We work very well with our wellness department. They are a great group of individuals who do health coaching. They really encourage our employees to um, exercise, and they've got a great variety of exercise programs, but the wellness dietitian introduced a concept called a smart salad bar. Oh, very nice. We're still working out the kinks on it. Um, however, we did just kick this off. So in order to help guide our employees and our visitors to healthier choices when they're making a salad, um, the way this works is green signifies a healthy item, have a large amount of it because it's good for you. It's going to provide a lot of nutrition or a lot of fiber. Sure. So to go along with that, whenever we have a green item in the salad bar, we're going to have a green utensil to help guide our employees and our visitors. Next, yellow. I'll try to keep these straight. Okay, okay. thank you. Yellow, um, as in you know, traffic light. Yellow means it's okay to have occasionally, but just maybe watch your portion on that. Um, we couldn't get official yellow utensils, so we're using tan. Um, so when there's a tan, that's one to just kind of go, you know, a so little like easy croutons, on. So those yes. types of things. Exactly. Okay, great. And then finally, we have our red tongs. And these are ones that are going to be either higher in fat or high in simple sugar and just don't really provide a whole lot of nutrition but could provide a lot of extra calories or saturated fat. So these items should be used sparingly. And so we have the red utensil to go with this. An example of that may be a uh, Maybe dressing? Some, yes, a, a regular full fat dressing. And we do have nice labels on them, nice big red rings that list whether it's light or regular. Okay. Um, maybe a cheese. You know, we don't want to sure. do a lot of cheese or even some bacon bits. Okay. You know, we don't want to, you know, overdo it on those, but maybe have it occasionally just for some variety. Wonderful. So what other types of things are you doing to encourage your staff with? healthy eating and, okay. and maybe even exercise programs. I'm okay. not sure how that well, all works together. I want to mention um, we have a farmer's market that we're going to be offer. March is National Nutrition Month, okay. so as a dietitian, you know, we certainly like to do as much as we can to promote Nutrition Month and showcase what some of the healthy 
programs are that we have. So we're going to have a farmer's market on Friday, March 18th. And that's open to our employees. It's open to anyone in the public. We'll have a large variety of produce, you know, all kinds of different fruits, all kinds of vegetables. Okay. Our chef will be out, Chef Jamie Brumba, will be okay. out doing some um, sautéing just to give some ideas on how to prepare some of these produce items. We're going to have all kinds of recipes. And it's just a way for employees to just maybe try something new and maybe stock up on some produce as opposed to maybe some processed foods. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to go to break, and I want to thank you very much again. This is Kathleen Meyer. She thank is you. the assistant dietary manager here at Fairfield Medical Center. We're going to move through other places in the in the hospital, but I want to thank you so much for giving us this tour because it seems like you're laying the options out there, we and are. it's totally up to maybe the visitor of the hospital or right. the employee. It's all about choice. Exactly. We don't want to take anything away. We recognize, you know, sometimes you just got to have a brownie, and that's okay. It can fit, but if we can offer a lot of other things too to have on a regular basis then that's what our goal is awesome Kathleen thank you thank very you. very much we'll be right back with more of Fairfield today Welcome back to Fairfield today. We have moved from the cafeteria area to President and CEO Mina Eubing's office. Mina, I would like to thank you. I'm going to be real honest. We pulled her out of a meeting to come talk to us for a few minutes, so I thank you very much for that. My pleasure. I recently read in the in the Eagle Gazette that mm -hmm. you have been elected by the Ohio Hospitals to serve as the t on the 2011 Ohio Hospital Association Board of Directors. Did I get that big name correct? You got part of it. You're good. You're, you're good. Actually, I was elected chair of that board. Well, that's so fabulous. I'm chairing and recognizing uh, that that board represents the 170 plus hospitals in the state of Ohio. There are about 22 members of the board, and this is the year that I chair it. So, were you excited? I, I think I've read that you held other positions prior to this. Exactly. It's so, this is nothing new, but you're just building no. to this chairmanship. That's right. Or in uh, your case, chairwomanship. Or I personship is yeah. the case may be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we uh, have one of those progressive opportunities where the, the first year you're the uh, secretary treasurer and the next year you're the chair elect and the year after that you're the chair and the year after that you're the past chair. So I'm in step three. Well, talk to me a little bit about plans you have for the association during your term. Well, as we all know based on timing, the biggest uh, piece right now is advocacy. Uh, it's the role of the hospital association primarily to advocate on behalf of its member hospitals. And with the state budget crisis, that's pretty much where our focus is right now. Uh, hospitals in Ohio are very different. They don't all come in one size, shape, or uh, location, obviously, and it's challenging to represent the interests of all the kinds of hospitals. You've got academic medical centers, you've got small critical access hospitals have less than 25 beds. A hospital like Fairfield Medical Center is called a tweener hospital. We're not rural. Uh, we're considered urban because if you're not uh, rural, you're urban. But the real geography of it is we're within about 35 miles of Columbus, sure. and so we fall into that category. And so things that are important to us in legislation, important to us in the budget, are different than someone who's in a different one of those categories. And yet, to be successful, we all have to come together mm -hmm. and, and present a um, unified approach. So in this role, um, I've had the opportunity in the past uh, to spend time with then Governor Strickland, and I've had the opportunity to spend some time uh, at the point that he was candidate Kasich. Uh, I believe that candidate Kasich is now Governor Kasich, and I will be bonding with Governor Kasich soon sure. as well. Uh, but a lot of our work is, is making sure that we have hospitals available to the people who need them. Uh, it's an interesting time in healthcare, not only at the state level, but certainly at the uh, federal level as well, mm -hmm. because of course we have the federal budget to uh, deal with and deal with in conjunction with our partners at the uh, Fairfield Community Health Center. Mm -hmm. uh, their funding uh, is federal. Sure. Ours is both in the, in the sense that we are paid by the state for Medicaid and we're paid by the federal government for Medicare. So lots of that, being very aware of the issues that are out there. Um, I have the opportunity on March 21st to be in a meeting with uh, Catherine Sebelius, 
that name doesn't ring a bell immediately. Uh